Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Shulzika from Splix AI and I'm going to show you how to install and use our new open source tool Agentic Radar. So the easiest way to do it is to go to our Git repository page, scroll down a little bit and then follow the installation instructions here. But before you do anything, make sure you have Python installed. Uh, this tool uses two prerequisites, GraphWiz and Cairo, which you can install by running these commands. If you are on Mac, you can use brew to install them, and if you are on other Linux system, you can use apt-get to install them. Once you install those, you simply need to run this command in terminal to install Agentic Radar on your system. And to check if everything went well, copy this command, open your terminal, and run it. And if everything went well, you should see a version pop out here. If you see this, then you are ready to go. So now to run it, you need to call the agentic radar command and pass in the path to your source code. Luckily for us, Sarah has made a demo source code that we can use. You can find it on this Git repo. And this is an agentic workflow that is a legal agent, which can use web search, database with 100 employees, Jira search and whatnot. Perfect for the sake of this demo. You can download it by hitting the code button and download zip. You can save it to your downloads folder and unzip it. Then what you can, what you need to do is you should position yourself in the terminal into this folder with your code. And uh, call the agentic radar command. Agentic radar. I flag for path to your input, which in this case is legal, legal agent main. O flag for output, which we can, let's say, report.html and the name of the framework that your project is using. In this case, it is lung graph. Hit enter, and once it completes, you should see the report being generated in your folder. When you open this report, you will see your whole agentic workflow visualized here. You will see all the tools that your agents are using. And down below, you will also see which known vulnerabilities does each of your tools have. Hopefully this is enough to get you started. If you have any questions or feedback, or you simply want to talk to us, feel free to visit us on our public Slack channel or our public Discord community server. And if you like the project and if you want to help us get traction, give us a star on GitHub and see you in the next one. Bye.